Hello, this is Paul Nelson with Western Sport Floors, Wyoming Wood Floors, coming to you today from Pestigo, Wisconsin. I am at CRM Manufacturing, and I'm here with Mr. Rob Cannon. How's it going today? Good. How are you doing, Rob? Not too bad. Rob, uh, can you just tell me a little bit about your experience in the gymnasium floor industry? Sure, absolutely, Paul. So my background, I started at Acer Flooring. I've had uh, 18 years in at Acer Flooring, and then I moved over to Robbins Flooring, where I put another five years in over at Robbins Flooring. So we've got a lot of background in the maple milling and the subfloor component industry on the side of flooring. So. so a couple of years ago, you had an opportunity here in Pestigo. I did. So there was a company called CRM and they were actually making a lot of self-floor components for some of the MFMA members. Okay. Um, we got the opportunity to purchase that business. Um, so just over two years ago, my wife and I purchased that business. So That's fantastic. Here we are. So right now you are making subfloor components yep. for different MFMA member mills. Correct. Yep. That are then being installed under gymnasium floors. Yes, that's what we do here, and we're really good at it. <laughs> Well, we went out and toured your factory, and it was really impressive. Yeah, thank you. The floors were clean. The machines were clean. The employees were happy. Yep. That's <laughs> it's what it's all about. <laughs> really um, evidence of a well-run business. So thank you. I'd like to congratulate you on I that. I appreciate that. Let's, let's look forward. You and I were having a discussion. Uh, you know, in the past, we've always, as far as testing requirements in these subfloor systems, mm -hmm. and... For the purposes of this video, we're not going to talk about great staining and great sanding and beautiful graphics. The purpose of this video, we're talking about subfloor components. That's right. Which is what you guys are building here at CRM. Mm -hmm. What subfloor components in gymnasium flooring systems are attempting to do is alleviate some of the stress in these big, heavy athletes' hips, knees, and ankles. And so what's ending careers of athletes ultimately is their bodies are getting worn out. They're, they're jumping up to that basketball goal, they're crashing down on the floor. And so everything you're doing out there with respect to rubber pads, um, foam cushioning of multiple kinds, is, is to try and give some relief to these athletes. That's right. So the uh, suppliers will send me in wood that's already kiln dried, and I'll take it here and I'll take it from this rough state, run it through a double uh, double surfacer, plane it, and then when it comes over, it'll look like this. From here, we'll take it and actually make the rip blanks. So what we're doing here is we're actually taking a couple different layers of plywood, putting them together, making a subfloor system, and then putting equal rubber pads underneath it. Got it. We'd call this a panelized system. That's correct. This is a panelized One subfloor. One panel attaches to the next. Yep, and then they'll overlap on the floor. Overlap. They can be installed either floating or anchored. True. We got some uh, one inch plywood here um, that we are going to convert to individual sleepers um, through a work process that we do here. Um, and underneath that sleeper, it's going to have increment holes in it where you can anchor it down to the, to the concrete. And it's also going to have um, different types of pads put on it. Could be half inch, 3A, could be foam, whatever the uh, supplier needs. So this right now, is this a, a one by eight inch sleeper? It's, by, it's a one by seven and a half. And that's going to get ripped in half. Basically. That's going to be ripped into three pieces. Well, that'll get ripped into three pieces. That's correct. Each one of these will make three sleepers. That's correct. Yep. And it could be varying depths depending on the system. And that's required. very true. Yep. We uh, have talked about this concept of HIC, head injury criteria. Mm -hmm. And you've indicated that's an area that interests you as it interests me. And can you give me, give me some of your thoughts about maybe what it would take to design or build a subfloor system to meet a head injury criteria right. certification. I'm definitely interested in that. Uh, you know, you brought out some really good stuff that uh, um, Paul Elliott has, has started this out in the industry, um, things that we can criteria our testing with and stuff like that. I'd like to look at the future, um, working with the MFA members so that we could do that for the future to help get that to a minimum um, for the HIC criteria. Right. So. Well, and I think now even college athletes are making, uh, are, are allowed, as they should be, sure. to, to brand their name and, 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 and to make money off of the efforts that they are. But, but that's only reasonable because these big colleges are also billion dollar businesses. Yeah. 
<laughs> so these athletes have a very valuable commodity, which is their body and their ability to perform, mm -hmm. and having a floor system that gives them a certain amount of protection and safety is, is a valuable asset, not just for the athlete, but for the university system or professional organization that he works for, or sure. she. I agree, I think it's the next, next turn of events that needs to happen with these subfloors, um, for these maple floors. For sure. So a lot of times the lumber comes in kiln dried on sticks, we'll take it in the rough form, could be a board that's up to eight inches wide, and we'll take it and we'll plane it, surface it on top and bottom, and then we'll run it through a straight line rip saw, and that'll be a rip blank for uh, the next future for flooring. So this is called a rip blank. Yep. And uh, what is that, about three and a half inches wide? Yep. Three inches wide? Right, correct. And that'll most likely get milled into two and a quarter. Right. By 25, 30 seconds. That's right. Yep. MFMA gym floor. Exactly. Well, this is a discussion that we'll continue to have. I'd, I'd like to thank you again. This organization that you have put together here is obviously reflective of somebody that's really paying attention. Absolutely. <laughs> Appreciate it, Paul. Rob, thank you so thank much. Thank you.